Hello everyone, I'm Thor Bharti and you are watching BMO channel. And today we reached 600 subscriber milestone. So thank you for subscribing, all of you. And let's get started with our Revit structure project. So this is going to be the ninth video in that Revit structure uh, project timing. Okay. So let's get started and you will find this file in the last uh, video description. So you can just uh, see this video uh, and you will find the file in the description below. So let's get started. And in today's video, what I'm going to do is we are going to learn about views and uh, let's just check it out how how to make some views. So first of all, what we can do is let's just go to the first floor over here. Let me hide this grid lines. Okay, before hiding any grid lines, let me do one more thing. That is, uh, as you can see from here, if we right click on any of the structural plan and go to duplicate view, we have three options. That is duplicate, duplicate with detailing and duplicate as dependent. So we will see all of this one by one. So let's get started with duplicate. Okay. So I just duplicated it and I will see that whatever we have over here you know, will be duplicated over this point. As you can see, if we okay you can also let me delete it once again and let me show you one more thing just go to the annotate go to the line and here let's just take this uh, distance from this place as you can see i've just taken a few distances you can just increase or decrease this uh, scaling size over here and right now you can see this annotation that is uh, this uh, distances of uh, all these points and now if we try to duplicate it Right now, I've just duplicated it, and now you can see that this uh, whatever the annotation we provided over here in this uh, first um, flow plan is uh, not being shown in this part that is uh, the copied part. You can rename it, so I can just rename it as just go to rename, and here you can rename it as uh, uh, first flow without dimension. okay and what if you want to show the dimension so what uh, it does is it will just copy all the things that you have in the flow but it will not copy the annotation and all this detailing so for example if you provide any of the detail line something like this over here uh, it is just for the illustration purpose don't make it okay so as you can see i have just made a detail line over here and now uh, if you can see from here if i duplicate it it will not be shown in the duplicate version of it just uh, we have a one more copy of it and as you can see uh, this uh, detail lines are not being shown but what if you want to see this detail line in uh, your duplicate uh, i mean the flow plan okay for that what you can do is just go to this first flow go to this duplicate and here we will uh, select it this one that is duplicate with detailing and now as you can see uh, this first flow copy to now it will show you all the details with the annotation and all and everything that you have over here uh, that you have used in your project will be shown so this is the duplicate as uh, so we have seen two options that is duplicate and duplicate with detailing let me delete all this okay so now that i have deleted all this i don't require this ones also in my project so i can just select this one this one and i can just delete it okay so i've just deleted it after this what we have is duplicate as dependent okay before that one more thing that is why do we duplicate it actually so for that let me duplicate one of the views that is without detailing so i'm just duplicating it and writing its name as just go to the rename and over here you can write its name as without b mod without framing okay so without beam so what we are going to do is we are not going to show the beams that we have in this uh, uh, file as, as you can see or you can say this project actually so for this one as you can see the beam are being shown in this plan so if you want to hide this uh, beams what you have to do is just uh, go to the views where is our view over here and here we have our visibility graphic the shortcut for this visibility graphics is vz or vv so you can use both 
so i'm just pressing uh, you can uh, either right uh, left click on this one or just press vg on your keyboard and now you will see that this uh, panel opens over here and over here yeah, as you can see in filter list you have two options that uh, i mean not just two you have five options and you can select whatever is your requirement so for me right now is structure and architecture so i i have just selected this both you can and also select any one of this if you are working on some different project and here we have to remove this beam so to remove this beam that are being beam and beam system that are being shown over here so for that and just select uh, structural beam system from here and then we have structural framing over here so we have uh, just uh, unticked with this both and now just click on apply and okay and now you will see that this um, that we duplicated the that part is now been shown as without beam you can also hide this uh, just a second okay if you want to hide this uh, grid lines just right click over here go to hide in view and category if you also want to hide this view that is the reference lines you can go to hide in view and category and now you can see that this uh, floor plan is shown without the or you can see the structural plan is being shown without the beams and if you go to the first floor now you can see that whatever we had earlier we have it right now also and then we have an option that is uh, duplicate as dependent and let's just try it and in this section what we can do is as you can see we can write its name as something like okay, just go to meaning over here as you can see it is uh, uh, what you can say it's making a tree like structure as you can see if you can remember from uh, earlier that we used to do in our classes that we made a tree system something like that it is doing the same thing so this now comes under this one so it will be dependent whatever changes you will do in this uh, plan it will be shown over here but let me just show you let me just give it a name for example this is our okay south view okay and we will make two views one as a south one as a north so i i'm going to duplicate it once again duplicate as dependent and then just rename the both so first of all let me rename it as north and second one that is this one rename it as south south enter after that uh, let me just increase the size of this panel actually okay so now if i go to the south view and as you can see we have this crop view region over here and before that let me tell you one more thing that is uh, this annotation as you can see this is uh, a crop region if you click over here this is a crop region if uh, by any case it is not being shown to you you can just go over here and just uh, turn it on from the extent uh, option that is crop view and crop reason you can and then this is the uh, annotation crop so we have all these three um, reasons that you can turn on so i'm just going to this one and now let me show you one thing go to the first floor and as you can see this uh, annotation is, i mean this crop region is not being shown so you can just turn it on from here also turn those all on and now you can see that the reason is being shown this is how it is being shown so let me go to the any of the views so right now i'm in south view and this is a crop region as you can see we can just increase it or decrease it so what happens is when you decrease this crop region something like this over here and now you can see that everything inside this one i mean everything that it doesn't coincide with is being hidden okay so if you can get it back something like this then we have this annotation crop option so let me show as i show uh, shown to you that anything that comes under it will be hidden i mean whatever gets over it will get hidden so and like this so as you can see this are our annotation over here and when we try to uh, get our crop reason over here as you can see this uh, annotation is not being hidden so why is this happening just because of this this is our reason crop reason okay and this is our annotation reason so you can decrease this annotation reason something like this and now you can see that the uh, annotation line or you can see the that uh, dimension or anything that has uh, this uh, we have that we have used from this annotation panel will get hidden or being shown because of this panel 
so this window actually okay so you can just increase the size of it decrease the size of it so you can use it as per your requirements okay so right now we are in the south view as you can see so let me just decrease it something like this okay so we have our south view so this uh, as you can see this is our north and this is our south so you can do this you can just uh, make it as a half as you can see from here this uh, we have made the south view visual in the south uh, flow and i mean not the flow uh, south uh, south section and over here we have north section so just make the north section visual over here so like this you can work on this uh, the plane that you are given so if you have something like a very large project so you can just divide these parts and then you can work on that so now that we are done with this section and we can uh, let me show you one more thing for example if i go to the south view and let me take an annotation over here so let me just take this align annotation so we just put the align uh, annotation over here and go to the first pillar and now you can see that this align annotation is being shown over here if we had done the same thing in the duplicate version of it that is uh, this option so it would not have been shown in this one so it is dependent whatever changes you make uh, in this dependent one will be also shown over here as you can see so these are the things that i wanted to let you know after this we have what we have is uh, we are done with the dependent section visibility section annotation crop section then you can also go for here like uh, you want to show the details in this one if so as you can see in this one there's no detailing you cannot show the detailings from here so now if you turn on the fine detailing you can see this detailing if you do the medium detailing you will see the medium detailing and coarse detailing as you know in coarse detailing there are very few things that are being shown so these are the options after the detailing is over now we have to do call out view i think okay so let me go to the call out view so right now just go to the view section here you will find something that is section call out elevation so we will see all of this one by one first of all let's just see this call out section so let me go to the ground floor how you can be on the first floor also so let me just be in this floor let me hide all this so hide in view category i've just hidden all of these if you want to hide this reference plane you can hide this so let me show you the call out and how it works so in call out section just go to the we have two of the option over here you can just select call out over here and now you have two options that is call out of detail and then where is that call out and call out by sketch okay so let me select the rectangle first and let's just make a rectangle from this place to this place and just left click over here and now you can see that there's a view made over here you can move it something like this on the outer side and as you can see this is being shown as a blank yeah. and it will also write its name by itself when you will make sheet so don't worry about that and then as you can see we have made a call out section over here now just go to somewhere over here as you can see this call out section and you can just double click on it and now you can see that this where is that first block and over here we just uh, made a call out of this elevation section so if you open this it will show you just the elevation section you can also minimize or maximize the height and width of this call out section okay and you can also uh, make it realistic consistent shaded so and you can also work on it so this this is call out after this we have the second type of call out so let me go to the first floor once again and then we have second type of call out that is call out by sketch okay so let me select this sketch and make something by line so for example i'm just making something like this like this so i want to some person to work on this part 
or this portion you can just hand over the, this part to them and now they will work on it so you can just double click over here and as you can see this is the part you can go to the call out and now you can see that this part is visible over here you can do anything that you want with this part and you can also rename it so let me rename it as call out what was that uh maybe elevator or the shaft okay so let me rename it as shaft and then just duplicate okay not duplicate actually rename so this is like uh, pro one uh, let's just leave it okay so you can also delete it something like this okay let me undo it control z okay i was going to delete this uh, call out so you can delete it from here and now you can see that the call out has been deleted or if you want this dependent part to be deleted you can just uh, do that you can also increase the degrees in the size of this section as you can see from here so now that we are done with this part after this what we have to do is the call out is done now let me show you elevation so let me just put the ground floor over here and you can get back all your grid lines from uh, this that is uh, close uh, close reveal hidden element from uh, here and then click in on any one of it of it then go to hide in view uh, unhide in view and category and now you can see that every part of it is being unhidden so just uh, click over here once again and now we'll see that everything is back after this if we have to see the elevation section so for example if you click on this elevation section you will get two types of elevation that is one of the one is the elevation section and second one is the framing section we will see one by one so let me go to the first one that is elevation section from here and now as you can see this elevation section is uh, you can say <coughs> just a second okay so as you can see the elevation section from here wherever we are trying to go this just changes as per the wall so where whatever the what you can say the orientation of wall is it will just orient itself to that one as you can see from here so you can call it like wall sensitive okay wall sensitive or orientation sensitive okay so and this is how it is going to change its direction by itself so you can just place it like anywhere so i'm just placing it something over here okay and now you can see that if i show you from here go to elevation and now you can see that what is the reason it is going to show it to you so when you click over here now you can see this is the reason that is it will show if you double click on this place now you can see that this is the only section that is is being shown from this flow by this elevation so you can write its name as some like anything so you can rename it this elevation section then you can increase the size of this elevation from here to here this is the reason that is being shown from here now if you double click over here not on this one on this part now you can see that this is the whole elevation is being shown then you can increase or decrease the depth of this uh, elevation so let me show you something like this that is till half of this uh, section over here and let me decrease the size of this one and okay where is that just click uh, uh, click over here and i will get this reason you can increase or decrease it something like this depth uh, you can also play with it okay and then just double click over here and now you can see that this half section that we have over here that is in the depth section of this annotation i mean this elevation is being shown so you can also go to this elevation 1a and now you can see that this part is being shown after that we have second type of elevation again go to the ground floor then we have uh, this elevation that is framing elevation so you can also select this elevation and you can change this elevation from here so right now we are in framing elevation and this is grid sensitive okay so as you can see wherever we will go it will change uh, its orientation as per the grids as you can see this is the grid over here it changes its orientation it now 
if I go something like from here, now you will see that it is showing it from here. Okay, so you can use it. So I'm just using it somewhere over here and just press escape, double click over here, and now you can see that this this is showing our that shaft part. Okay, so you can again go to there's that elevation over here and in elevation to a you can rename it as shaft elevation shaft okay you can just double click over here and now it will show you the shaft if you go to ground floor once again and if you want to change the reason or the this uh, section over here so if you want it something like this that is a little bit smaller something like this from here and the depth of it would not be greater than this or if you want it of the less depth you can use it okay so this is how you can use this elevation section then i can go to the uh, first flow and now as you can see the, the difference between this uh, framing section and the other that is elevation section is in this one you can see this black part and in this one in, in, i mean you can differentiate by like this that is this in framing section there is no black section over here so these are two of this section and one is the wall sensitive other one is grid sensitive okay after that what we have let me see if i have turned on the recording yes then we are done with the elevation uh, after elevation we need section so this is a very interesting part so i have shown you the section view i cannot remember that okay so let me show you what this section does so let me just uh, select this section view and in section also there is two sections that is is a building section and wall section and this detail is uh, you can call this as call out only so we are going to focus on building and wall first so let me show you the building section first and let me just make a section from this place to this place okay you can now move this section something like this you can just move it as per your requirement okay then you can increase or decrease the depth of this section i mean till where it will show so let me show you first uh till this section it will show so like this beam uh, section or you can see this beam and column all this section over here will be shown so just go to the section over here then where is that section 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 okay you will find it here section one and now you can see that this is being shown over here you can increase the depth of it so again go to the ground flow from here you can increase this depth then go to the section one and now you can see that this is being shown you can go to realistic view you can make this uh, final so this is our north section just maybe it was north i don't remember that you can go to the ground floor and yes it is north section so let me just rename it as section north then again go to the ground floor over here if you want to split this section i mean to say that if you do not want to show this whole part over here what you can do is you can just click over here and now it will split it in two parts and now as you can see this is available over here but it will not mm, being shown in this line so there is a line over here but that is split it and it will show this whole section so if you click there's gonna be no changes then again go to the ground floor and what if you want to uh, rejoin it you can just do it something like this something like this and now you can see that it joined back after this we have a split section then so in a split section what happens is if you want to show something from for example let me show you if i am showing something from here okay just double click over here and now you can see that and from this part i want to show inside of this uh, shaft so for that i have to split it in section so just go to split segment split it from somewhere over here and now you can see that wherever you will go with your mouse cursor it will just 
move the ad segment from that part okay so i've just made this uh, section from here you can double click over here and now you can see that if i go to the hidden lines it is showing us the inside of that section okay then what option else we have is over here is you can change the head or toe of this section from here that is this uh, uh, you can see the cycle button okay you can change the side of head and tail then and from here also you can change it so as you can see head is here tail is here then we have the move section then split crop section this is the option you can split it so you can see whatever the size and width you want to split it i mean crop it you can do that then okay now we have this as a section let me give it a name for this section so this is section A, A. okay then is there anything left in the elevation so let's just keep it all now we have 3d section view so for 3d section view we can go to this 3d view and over here you can delete this an analytical model we will make that analytical model later on in our project so in next video there will be analytical model okay so just go to 3d view and over here you can just duplicate and duplicate either duplicate it or duplicate it with detailing so i'm just making it a duplicate one more duplicate duplicate then again you can make it a duplicate from here and you can make one more duplicate so in all this 3d view we are going to show a different section so over here so for example if i'm going to the 3d view i'll just double click over here and as you can see there's a view cube over here you can just right click in this part and then you can see orient to view option is there and then floor plans so let me just show you the ground floor plan okay and now you can see that this section is just going to show you the ground floor plan from here as you can see this is just our ground floor section so you can rename it as ground floor. let me rename it once so you can rename it like two ways one is just right click over here and rename it other is just click over here one time and you you can rename it so as you can see uh, i uh, okay so i just forgot to tell you one thing that is if you have to rename it you cannot uh, rename it uh, from this curly braces so you, you have to remove this uh, curly braces then only you can rename it or you can remove all the name and then you can give it uh, any name by your choice so ground 3d ground okay now we have this 3d ground floor then just go to another view go to the view queue right click over here or enter view and let me show you a elevation view from here so just go to the elevation view and this is our elevation view that we made over here so this is the view that is being shown then you can also use any other view from here that is the section view section double a and now you can see that this is our section double a you can also i mean crop it so if you want to crop this section a little bit more for example it is showing something else or you can remove some part of it something like this you can crop it from here and now you can say that this part will be hidden so this is how you can make some changes after that what else option we have so we can rename it as rename section a a okay then okay after that again you can go to any of this copy and over here if you what if you want to show some part of it by yourself so and you don't want to go from here orient view and all this section view then 3d view so for that what you can do is you can go you know, over here that is section box then just click on it and now i will see that what is being shown over here is a section box that is this is being uh, disclosed in a section 
and then we can make some changes to this section something like this so as you can see wherever you are trying to crop it so for example i just want to show till this part over here as you can see or something like this section over here so you can make the 3d view by your own choice okay so this is our section view let me show you more things in section view so this is our section view you can just rename it as dof okay then again select any one of this uh, section uh, this 3d view and over here go to right click over here go to event view section view elevation view you can show any other elevation for example i'm showing north elevation and it will now just show you the north elevation from here so actually in north elevation there is everything available from all the section so we can also right click over here and change the orientation or anything or you can do is you can just show some part of it like this and like this and now you can see that only this part is visible in this view then let me show you one more thing just go to the ground level or tof section over here and let's make a section over this place section okay there's one section left and this you can also make the self section being shown over here so for that what we have to do is just go over here go to orient to view elevation elevation of shaft and now you can see that only shaft is being shown over here and it has made a cut from between then just a second i need some water okay so as you can see this is being shown in half what if you want to show it as a full so for that what you can do is just go to the ground level or the first floor or any here then you can just select this wall with the help of tab as you can see this was our self section and then there is an option that is this section box just click on it and now you can see that this whole shaft is being shown with all uh, the other uh, part that it has contained in it so this is our shaft section and on the bottom side of it it is being disclosed that is why and we cannot see it as a whole as you can see from here this um, flow is being shown over here let me check if i have done on the recording yes okay so now that we are done with this section now what else we have okay just go to the tof section and, and over here let me show you one more thing as you can see there was a wall over here if you go to 3d view where's our 3d okay you can just make the 3d view left for us Okay, you can just reset it. Okay, where is our 3D view? You can select any of the 3D view. So right now we have all our 3D view being gone. We can just take any of this section, go to the front view. Okay, let me show you in this section only. So this was our section view and this is now 3d view okay i've just removed that section uh, okay over here i can make that copy once again if in any case you want that so just move it something like this this was our our just go to this place go to orient to view pro plans elevation 3d view and just go to 3d and now you can see that the whole 3d part is being available to us and over here i wanted to show you that again this shaft uh, portion so just go to this where is that 
in your view move plan for select this section and then just click on the section box now you have this one so you can make this one as a 3d and let's just keep this name as 3d and in this one i wanted to show you what was left just with 3d view then Let me just undo it. Okay. And now we have to work the copies of this one. I'm going to let this one. Okay, now we have this 3D view. And I have to show you. Okay. Just go to TOF section right now. In TOF section, as you can see from here that uh, okay, first let me show you in 3D view. Okay, so as you can see this wall are present over here as you know this walls and if you go to the ground floor or something like tof section now you can see that this uh, walls are being shown over here but this is not visible in this part so for to make it visible in that what we have to do is you can just go to view range go to edit and over here as you can remember this um, height of this wall was 6500 so you can just make it an offset of minus 6500 over here as you can see this wall is not being shown minus 6500 okay and just apply it and now you can see that this all the wall over here has been shown as you can see this wall if you undo it now you will see that every in this wall just be gone as you can see this wall is gone and redo and now you can see that this is and what we can get back then you can rename it as what was that section i mean later okay and let me give it a elevator view so okay let me just give an elevation view over here just put it the ground crew select this wall select whole wall and just click on this section view and you can see that this shaft is being present over here so now that we are done with our this 3d view okay i don't know if it is not making the default 3d view for us so let's just leave that okay so now we are done with the elevation section and call out and annotation part Okay, annotation is not being done today. So, 3D view section and callout section has been done. And in next video, we are going to do the analytical model of it. So, I've made some of the views over here. You can keep it or remove it. So, thank you for watching. And in next video, we are going to do the analytical model. So, thank you for watching.